The final chord quality that is, again, not used very much in popular music, but I want to make you aware of is a fully diminished seven chord, okay? So an easy way to play that on a guitar or a bass is by stacking minor thirds like this. So you go index, pinky, you shift the whole thing up one fret on the adjacent string, index, pinky. So you're kind of playing this stepped pattern. If you keep going, you wind up getting a diminished, a fully diminished seven arpeggio. Again, it doesn't get used very often at all in popular music, but if you want to learn them, then if you know the augmented major seven, the augmented seven, the half diminished and fully diminished, as well as the major seven, minor seven, and dominant, you'll pretty much be unstoppable. I'd say that these ones that I'm covering in this lesson really have a lot of applications maybe in jazz if you're getting into some heavy jazz, but they don't really have a lot of applications in popular music. So major, minor, and dominant is gonna cover you in 95% of the situations that you'll ever find yourself in unless you're really getting into some hardcore jazz.